live. We are live? Mm-hmm. Okay, so which which song did I start the other show with? Uh, it's beginning to look. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Copyright strike but the already. Fire so delightful. Since we've no place to go. <laughs> let it rain, let it rain, let it what? rain. <laughs> Oh, please let it rain. Oh, hi, EMC. <laughs> EMC's on. Haven't seen you in a while. All right. Good we are celebrating you. Christmas in July again with my gnome for the holidays apron. All right. Mom gnome made me. Hello, my brother. Hi, Lynn. So, my brother, Lynn, we all came to the conclusion that you're probably going to have to pay a little bit of capital gains if you don't have enough receipts to cover everything. But quite frankly, to hire a lawyer, it would probably be about the same amount. So I would just go for it and not worry about it. There. I don't think you're going to gain anything. No. I don't think you're going to have any gains to pay capital gains on. No, especially <laughs> after you pay you the realtor fees. So. All right. That is your big sister's two cents. Everybody's like, what is this show about? <laughs> just kidding. Well, they should pay attention. Hi. And watch everything we post on Facebook. Hi, Joanne, Crystal, I'm Christine, kidding. Nancy, Ramona, Mardella, Wendy, Janine. So my brother is selling his house after only owning it too much because they absolutely hate it. And so he was trying to decide if he has to pay capital gains if he earns anything from it, even if he puts it into the new house. So anyway, that's what we did a little show about earlier this afternoon. Today we are making chocolate... I didn't Oops, even know me. about that one. Chocolate cut truffles on page 262 in Dining on a Dine Cookbook. Half price for the ebook. Woohoo. Free shipping on the print book. And we have a ton of other print ebooks on sale. This is my, oh my. This one's looking a little worse for the wear, I guess, isn't it? It's got soap all over it. Um, <laughs> it is, this is my well used copy. I guess it's time for a fresh one. Maybe I should take and sign this one and give it to someone as a show copy. <gasps> oh, do you Ooh. think they'd like to see all my splatters from the show? See, I'm like sure. right here when I did pretzels? See that splatter? What? Right what? Yep. See right there? Wow. Um, <laughs> I could sign each this splatter. This is splatter. I could sign each splatter. This was show number whatever on YouTube. <sighs> okay, that didn't turn out like I thought it would. All right, page 262, <laughs> Dining on a Dime Cookbook, free shipping right now, when Christmas in July. Chocolate truffles. Now, this is like one of those stupid, easy recipes that you need a one-minute show for, not an hour-long show. But since we're doing Christmas in July, and I don't think I've ever made chocolate truffles, have I? Um, yes, you... You made them, I? Well, I don't know if you made them on the show. I don't think you made them on the show. Okay. Well, maybe you did. I don't know. I, I remember you making them sometime. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, page 262. We're going to take... Also, I'm sharing a link to a post that has 25 Christmas candy recipes that we have. And this recipe is on this post. So Because we're just that good, aren't we? Yeah, this is like a really popular post of ours. And I think you'll understand why. Because okay. it has all these super yummy so candies. So I forgot my Christmas towel here. Got to put my Christmas towel up there. Thank you, <laughs> Sue in England. How are you doing, <gasps> Sue? We haven't heard from you forever. Um, and let me find my measuring Ooh. cup. Diana said, made the... Dining on a Dime Refrigerator Pickles with Cukes from the Garden. Delish. Yeah, you guys want to see my garden harvest? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my garden harvest and three cherry tomatoes so far. I ate them as I picked them, though. Wow. Margaret says, Tara, your hair looks so pretty. Oh, thank you. It's color silk medium brown. <laughs> <laughs> Mike get an affiliate link. <laughs> Mike get an affiliate link. <laughs> Okay, so in a container called a pan, you're going to pour in your whipping cream and your sugar and your butter. Dave, were you having a question? No. Oh, I had one. Yes. She's moving the camera down. Margaret asked, are y'all going to move him again when he sells this one? I told him we would come out and move him. Okay, now you got to come back here, Dave. Hey, I would be totally fine with that. And actually, before I even said anything, all of the children volunteered. 
Whoa. That's because Uncle BJ David's said... just that awesome. Oh, did you hear that? Uncle <laughs> David's is. just that awesome. You think they'll help me move when they leave? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, I think they feel like they're over their limit of helping you move. Oh, whatever. Um... I'm their mother. They have to help me move, even if it's 50 more times in my life. Um, yes, so they all volunteered to take off work and everything to help Uncle Dave move. Okay, so you put your sugar, your butter, and your whipping cream on a pan, in a pan on the stove and get it all melted. Okay, just like so. We're getting it all melted here. Looking all yummy. Um, almost there, Pop Smurf. Now, our 25 Christmas candies recipes post has been our number one post on our website for like four years now. People love the candies on, that we do in there. Look at all that love you're getting. Oh, oh is that for my brother? Oh, it's for my brother. He loves me. <laughs> He probably is just loving his nieces and nephews. <laughs> Cindy says today is National Hot Fudge Sunday Day. Well, you, this could this could be hot fudge. She said so. In honor of that, I'm making the fudge sauce and dining on time. <laughs> you could just, you know, you could just not put this in the fridge and just make it hot fudge. There you go. Okay, so then you're gonna put in your chocolate chips. Well, that knife isn't very sharp. Um. And you're going to melt your chocolate chips. Now, it calls for six ounces. This is a 12 ounce bag, so we'll use about 10 ounces. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. Oh, those are big chocolate chips. Oh, super nummy. Okay, so now I will say I actually probably use closer to seven ounces than um, six. Then just stir and stir and stir for not very long. So David Cooper in Park City, Kansas wants to know what are troubles? <laughs> They're chocolate. Is my brother not tried every single recipe in the Dining on a Dime cookbook? <laughs> a lot of people saying they, they need chocolate today. Joanne says I'll have to make them tonight too. Wait a minute, let's go back to my brother has not tried every recipe in the Dining on a Dime cookbook. After 20 years almost. He has, his bride just hasn't told him about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so see how this is all getting mixed and melted, all yummy-licious. <laughs> uh, heirloom for your family, a well-used cookbook. There you go. <laughs> okay. Actually, this is really good. I have to say, I've had these before, and they're super delicious. Yes. They are super, super. Now, you just want all super, super melted, really smooth. Oh, man. What's the matter? John says, happy birthday, Tara. Oh, thank you. Jo now, John oh. remembered. <laughs> hey, no, hasn't me, quite been here yet, no, woman? We haven't quote unquote forgot. We're just doing it mom style. And we're waiting until 9 o'clock in the morning to freak out and say, wait, what are you doing? I said to Dave today, I said, oh, we have to remember, we have to get something, figure out some plan for mom's birthday. And he said, we should do it mom style. <laughs> wait till on the day. Until 9 in the morning. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> what? That's what you do. Okay, show. then you take all this yummy chocolate lusciousness oh, and you yum. hide it from your family when they're being mean to you on your birthday week. I wasn't being mean. <laughs> I'm just. I don't know. You know when it's your birthday week, you have to start Annika's celebrating. On. Oh, Annika! Hi, Hello. Annika. Oh. She said she's gonna send me another painting, and it is beautiful. Ooh, awesome! Oh man. I'm gonna have my own gallery here pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so put it in between Annika and uh, Hannah's paintings. Um, we're loving them. Oh, here, wait. Here, I forgot the most special part. Sorry. Here you go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can get it on camera. Oh, no, you That's need to right. do a second. That's why he and I were pausing. Okay. That is delicious. Yum. Okay, so then you just spread it out. 
in your pan. Now it says to stir it, but I don't. I just let it sit and get hard. Or not hard, but set up. It's not gonna really be hard because it's got the, okay. So then, okay, here, you ready? Okay, hold ready. on, babe. Okay, oh. here's the moment. Here we go. Go. One, two, three. Mm. Is that delicious? Yep. Except you're wedding caking it on me. <laughs> mm. I'm wedding caking it on you? Mm -hmm. You may have to lick it up. Oh! <laughs> Except I can't do milk. <laughs> That's your excuse. Okay. So then you're going to take this and put it in the refrigerator. <gasps> and through the magic of television and Dave, he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh no! He's gonna hand me the one out of the fridge. This is toasty. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oh no. What's the oh no? What are you oh knowing? Oh, oh no. That's not good. Well, bad news for your brother. What? Joy said, we bought a house, hated it, sold it 10 months later, lost tons of money, built a new one, and hated it too. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Oh my goodness, that poor lady. And we have a lot of questions about a lot of other things. Okay, so let me finish the recipe. Oh, my so, little spatula person got stuck. So That's I'm going to reshare the recipe here again from the Christmas candy recipe post. It's not the only one on this post, so you might check out some of the other ones too. They're really good. There's a lot of great recipes. Okay, oops. It won't I really enjoyed testing that post, by the way. Okay, so this has been sitting in the fridge for probably, well, let's see. What time is it? 4.30 and I made it at 1.30, so three hours. Now, I probably let it sit a little too long. Really an hour is about what you want it to do. But I, I kind of, oops, I kind of had to do the next steps for you, okay? So what you do is after an hour, you roll them into little balls, okay? So after you roll all of this into little balls, then you let the little balls sit for about a half an hour. And then, Here's where the, oh, I forgot to put in the peppermint. You can put in any extract you want, guys. I was gonna make it peppermint and I forgot. Then what you do is you can roll it in. Cocoa, Dave, can you grab me another little bowl? You can roll it in coconut, you can roll it in nuts, you can roll it in sprinkles, powdered sugar, dip them in white chocolate, you can dip them in dark chocolate. Of course, that's a lot of chocolate. <coughs> So Heidi, if you missed it, the Christmas uh, the truffle recipe is in this Christmas candies post, and I'm sharing it again. It's also in our show notes at livingonadime.com, mm -hmm. and you can click on show notes. And it's on the top of the front page of the website right now. So I am dipping mine in cocoa because I didn't feel like buying a bunch of ingredients today. Um, and uh, woo. Yeah, it's strong. Okay. There we go. And then you have truffles. <gasps> okay, so take so, a picture of dad, Dave. So question. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, taste tester. Take a picture of dad? Oh, oh, just to show everybody. What's the verdict? Mmm, delicious. You hesitated. Because <laughs> I was imagining them with uh, coconut on them. Did you see him hesitate? He you hesitated. just hesitated a second time, bro. Mm, he yum. hesitated. Like with, uh, uh, I'm not sure if I like them, I'll have to try again. So I'm just gonna, you really should let these get, you know, like, warm Caroline. again, but, or I mean, cold again, but I'm gonna. Mm. <laughs> Here, you want one, Jack? The powder on the outside, you might not like as much. Oh, look what you just did to your shirt. Oh man. No doubt. It's all the cocoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like the dark really. chocolate. You don't like the outside or you don't like the inside? Here, I'll make you here. Here's one without the outside. <laughs> your step over here. Jack's so not into same. dark chocolate, so he probably doesn't like the cocoa. That is really delish. Oh, I was wondering, because oh. I saw the recipe it's today. It's really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. Good. I don't really want this. You don't want the other one? Here, give it to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I was wondering today when I was looking at the recipe, it talks about putting like flavorings and stuff inside of it. So 
Um, it looked like you just mix it in with the mix. Yeah. And I forgot to put in. I had peppermint here so, that I was going to put in the mix, and I forgot. So do you not make them so like the inside has the flavoring in a different texture than the outside? Or is you that, can if you want. Crazy? Is that hard? How would you do that? So you would just melt your chocolate chips for coating it with some paraffin or coconut oil if you want. Hmm. And uh, then you would flavor the inside and just have a dark chocolate outside. Now what do I do with all this? <laughs> it just doesn't look pretty. Ah! No. Super uh. gross. <laughs> oh, your brother says super gross. Kathy, Kathy says, I love making chocolate candies. Dave, you're cracking me up. What was it you did? <laughs> um, was it me making obscure noises when I was trying to get mom to Was it talking wait? about mom's? We're planning mom's birthday. Can you set those in the fridge? Okay, so that's how you make chocolate truffles. Here's one more bite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> how simple it is. Of course, we like quadruple, quintuple, septuple this recipe, and we can make cherry. So you were stalling, and even then it only took you... Just not very long. Yeah, right? like five minutes. So. So the ones you just the ones that were already done that we were trying those are ones that we had you had made earlier and we had them mm -hmm. already set. Yeah. So the ones you just made, they're having to set for how long? An hour, and then you roll them, and then you let them sit for thirty minutes, and then you roll them in coconut or nuts or whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So while we're waiting, um. To finish the show, first of all, guys, Dining on a Dime cookbook, half price for the ebook, free shipping on the print book, and all of our other ebooks are 50% off. Two. Before we start doing other stuff, should we answer some questions? I'm, I'm looking, there are some that are related that we haven't gotten to yet. Okay, sure. Um, Ooh, smell so, that one. Ah, yum. So Jesse is asking, how could you work peanut butter into this recipe? Um, instead of the butter, I would put one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of peanut butter. All right. Uh, sorry, let me look through. We had some other questions, but I was looking. And you could here. do crunchy or um, crunchy or what do you call it? Uh, not plain. What is it called? Creamy. Christine says your brother's asking for them garlic coated. <laughs> My brother. Oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> I know my brother. Believe me. <laughs> oh, your brother just making all kinds of brotherly comments. Mike could, if could have saved yourself by saying my mouth was full. <laughs> uh, let's see. Add some bacon. Mix them with bacon and milk chocolate. Actually, I've heard people talk about bacon and chocolate. Bacon covered chocolate? It's not my thing, I don't think. Well, actually, mm -hmm. I've never tried it, so I have to say. Oh, Jesse said my mom said raspberry. Yeah, that oh. sounds great. So the flavorings I have are raspberry, coconut, cherry, mint, orange. I think that's all I have. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to make sure we didn't miss any. I missed the bacon. <laughs> we didn't do bacon yet. Yet. All right. Let's see. I'm going to make sure they're on in here before I get up to the other questions, which were. So here's how my soap turned out while Mike's looking for questions. Remember the other day? This is how it turned out. I had Dave take a picture because I was going to try and get it listed, but I didn't. So here's the thing. I am in the middle of switching stores. It is taking me a ridiculously long amount of time to get stuff on my new soap supply stores. But here's the thing, guys. We got it set up so that if you go to bestsoapmakingsupplies.com, Except, oh. You can sign up for an email, and when my store opens, did you find out it will send it, you notice. Where it keeps those addresses, so you're actually able to send something. I have not figured that part out yet. <laughs> I will just have them sign up, and then we will figure it out. So if you want to do that for notice when it's done, it will send you a notice. Um, these are not listed yet. If you want this dream sickle, which Ellie last yeah. night was like, Oh, mom, that makes me want to go get a slightly melty push-up pop. Oh, and it does. So even though this smelled horrible in the soap for cold process, 
It smells wonderful in the soap for melt and pour and probably hot process. I haven't tried it. Oh. So if you guys, there are several people who are asking for this, send me an email, editor at livingonadime.com, and I will sell them first come, first serve. I'll just send you a PayPal invoice for it. Oh, Mrs. Mag says rolling peanut butter powder. I didn't know there was such a thing. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I have some. Oh, cool. Yeah. And Grandma Rose's Homestead said, you said cherry. How would you do that? So you just get the little little flavoring things this one's peppermint but i have little cherry ones and you just put uh i can't remember how much it was it was just put however much the recipe says in the mixture with the um butter and cream and chocolate chips um there may be a little bit more oh Lindsay says store in a cool dry location after and that's what you're talking about yes yeah, so we usually store them in the fridge especially if we make them in the summer in the winter our house is cool enough that it doesn't really matter but <laughs> I EMC, EMC says so funny Tara you analyze Mike's delayed response reminds me of my husband and me we actually joke around because of frozen yeah you hesitated <laughs> uh Amanda asked, did she grind <clears throat> up Oreos? That's how I do mine. Can you do them? How do you do that with Oreos, I wonder? Yeah, so you can crush cookies. Oreos are great. Just smash um, them up with a rolling pin and then roll them in Oreos. Yeah. This is very important. Jackson, uh, Jackson's seventh birthday is today. I think I think it's today. I don't yes. know if it's today. And uh, he's hopping for a birthday song. Yep. Oh, Jackson. I mean, hoping for a birthday he's song. He's hoping Not for a birthday song. He may be hopping Jamie too if he's sent seven. Me a message and it, I okay, totally... we want a video of Jackson hopping for a birthday song. <laughs> no. So let's okay. see. Everything is better with shots. People loving the chocolate. Okay, so. And it is Naomi's birthday from Out of Goshen. Ooh, and also, Brenda says my sister Nancy's birthday and Friday is my nephew Aaron's birthday. Yay! Okay. So, whoops. Uh, sorry. Uh, my brain just skipped the track. Uh, Who was it, Dave Naomi. Jackson? Yeah. You said Naomi? Mm-hmm. J-A-X-S-O-N. So, hold on a second. We got Nancy and Aaron and Jackson. Yes. Okay, so let's do... In... Man, I really... Here we hope... go. Okay. So it's Jackson, Aaron, Nancy, and Naomi. Ready? <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jackson, Aaron, Aaron Nancy, and, Nancy and, Naomi. and Naomi. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Hey, we should get Jack in here to sing to Jackson. Yeah, we should. That would be funny. <laughs> hey, Jack! Seriously? Come here! So if we already sang to him, do we sing again? Yes. Uh, okay, Jackson is seven. He wants us to sing a birthday song you to him. want to sing to him? Sure. Okay, ready? Okay, Jackson, here we go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jackson. Happy birthday to you. Tell Jackson happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> May you live long and prosperous, right? Yes. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut this dream sickle, which smells divine. So Linda's asking, are the candies for the Christmas candies in the workbook or in the cookbook? Yes. They are all They're in all dining room. Yes. I did not know that. Well, I think there's Can two that's not. When mom shows those uh, soaps, they... can you see them? are almost all in there. I think there's two out of the Show 25 that aren't. Because for Christmas, we do Christmas candies more than we do Christmas cookies. We don't oh, do Christmas cookies, down except down for down. Mom's Gingerbread Men. We do Mom's Gingerbread Men, and that's it. Well, and Jesse says, my mom always makes candy for Christmas Eve parties. Yeah. Actually, we have probably more candy than we need for our Christmas Eve really get-together. Oh, yeah. We, we go overboard on Christmas candies. You didn't really see the orange. Uh-oh. So this, these ones, this will be mine probably, or a sample. Krista says she loves that soap. This one smells so good. Ellie was just like, Mama, I just want to go get an orange pop-up that's slightly melty. <laughs> oh, sorry not to switch back to the truffles, but I'm going to briefly. Um, now for something like this, I would probably scrape off the little orange from the other piece there a little bit. So... Don asked, which chips did you use? Semi? Just chiming in. 
They were semi. Uh, they were semi sweet, but you can use any chip you want. You could use butterscotch. You could use peanut butter. You could use cherry. You could use. Um, uh, you could use dark. You could use. Did I say mint already? Um, you could use any of those. So that's the orange dreamsicle, guys. Email me, editor at livingonadime.com, if you want the dreamsicle. This one, remember my tutti frutti I did the other day? Well, I was waiting to cut it for an ASMR video, but I'm going to cut a couple for you guys. This one smells so good. It's a fruit one. And I used all my leftover in beds. Now, when you have bleeding, if you're wondering what bleeding is in mica colors, it's this right here. See how it kind of bleeds into the white? It doesn't hurt anything, but it can make some designs not look so great. And I knew it would do that on this, and I'm okay with that. So. Is it going to rain, please? <laughs> so I'm only going to cut a couple of these, and then I'm going to do it for my ASMR video. Brenda says, huge smile from Aaron now. Thanks. Oh, yay. Okay, one more. Is he oh, Rosemary said, guess I missed the cooking. Yes. Tara tried to stall it as much as she could, but it was just fast. There you go. That's Tutti Fruity. Smells wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, it looks like we have flash flood and severe thunderstorm watch. Yay! Yay. Well, I guess I'm not going to get the doggy door today, huh? And we have rain predicted for pretty much every day except for Friday and Saturday, which have partial rain. Yay! How's the, how's the video looking over there, Dave? Looks fine uh, on YouTube, yeah, but my Facebook good. isn't looking so. Oh, there it is. It's back. Okay. Uh, I got some smells at Hobby Lobby, and I didn't like them. Where do you all get yours? Heather asked. Um, I get mine at several different places like Rustic Essentials and Nature's Garden are my two favorite. Oh, whoops. Ah. Nurture Soap, I think, has some now, but those are my two favorite. Jean says, got your soap course on sale. I picked up the printables from the Yay! printer today. Can't wait to play. Yay, Jean. Yeah, actually, oh, hey, yeah, the soap e-course is part of the sale. The soap e-course is 50% off, which is really low for what we do with that so does the smell stay on your skin i don't know if the dreamsicle one does or not yet all right well let's just test it shall we let's <laughs> just test it here here we go <laughs> i don't know oh i have a birthday present too from one of our viewers that i've been holding for like a month that I need what? to open. Yes. So we. Okay, so here we go. So this is the dream sickle. Oh, that poor viewer. I'm probably dying to get you <sighs> oh, to open Lorraine. it. Okay. Sorry. Lorraine said, I'm a newbie. You're so down to earth. Ordered your cookbook. Love from Connecticut. Oh, Love you from Connecticut. Thanks, Wait, Lorraine. Who is it? Lorraine? Lorraine in Connecticut. Oh, okay, look <laughs> at that wonderful, sudsing, beautifulness. Wow. All right. Here we go. So, let's see. Ugh, smells good. Florida Singularity is asking, oh, is, Jonathan. is Essential Depot still a preferred vendor? Yes, I love, actually, Essential Depot is another great place to get their fragrances. I have only <clears throat> tried three or four of their fragrances, but I will tell you, every single one I have tried has been excellent. Excellent, excellent. It holds its scent really well. And um, so that's another place. Mike can put a link for you. I am an affiliate, sure, but for Essential Depot. Where, um, where to find it? No, it doesn't really stay on your skin. So you're not going to go around what people want to eat you like a fruit, like a pop-up. <laughs> um, you can buy the bacon soap and you'll have your see. dog following you around all day. Uh, Essential Depot? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I love, so far I loved everything from Essential Depot I've gotten. They have really good quality products, so. And I'm saying that I became an affiliate because I like <clears> their <throat> products so well. Okay. Not the other way around. Yeah, not the other way around. Okay, here's my birthday card. Oh, from Karen Green. Uh, Thank you. Oh, I was supposed to open Karen? it early. And I didn't open it early. <gasps> oh, Ooh, yum. Impossibly easy pies. You said you didn't know what impossible pies were, so here's a cookbook for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's really nice. Go away. 
<laughs> I bake them gluten-free by using Pamela's baking mix. If there is a gluten-free, or there is a gluten-free Bisquick. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you, Karen. Oh, I can't wait. Impossible Easy Pies. Yeah, I'd never heard of them before. Who was it? Telemarketer. Oh. Cheesy vegetable pie. <gasps> oh. Now, seriously, that cannot be. <gasps> that looks Bro good. That's not broccoli Bro carrot. Uh, Is that broccoli carrot pie? Well, maybe it's the picture from oh, the Oh, that's the grasshopper recipe. pie. Page 143. Well, that's oh, they make you look. Apparently. Hmm. Grasshopper. Ooh, cheese. <gasps> oh, grasshopper cheesecake. Your mom is trying to give away your age. Stop Don't you know you're it. not supposed to do that? <laughs> that is just rude. Uh, all about the journey says Facebook showed you live, so I came over to YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Spinach. That looks good. You'd like the spinach one. Do you want to trade places with Amy T? She says, what's the weather at everyone's place? I'm under a heated blanket. At my place. Oh, I would be there. You know, here's what I thought. I had an idea. I say we leave next week and go three months and tour Australia and New Zealand and then come home for Christmas and then head back over to Ireland and Scotland for the early next year to the rest of the summer. That would be awesome. See, I think that's a plan. <laughs> Well, here it's been really, really hot, but that's, today it's maybe up only into the mid-80s Fahrenheit, which isn't that hot, and it's actually been overcast and sort of drizzly, which we never get, so that's nice. So, Kirsten wants to know oh, whether right. you use a spare freezer or an additional fridge to keep your leftovers. Well, we don't have that many leftovers that it justifies having a spare refrigerator or freezer. Now, I do have a separate freezer, but not just for leftovers. I just, I buy chicken when it's like $1.47 or $1.67 on pound, pound on sale. I'll just buy a whole bunch of that or chicken quarters when they're a <clears> dollar or less. Um, and I'll put that kind of thing in there. Like I've got a ham from Easter in there now that I got for 88 cents a pound. So original question was, would you recommend a standing freezer in addition to your regular refrigerator or would an additional refrigerator be more beneficial? So it's the freezer. Oh, right? okay. So we're really into so the freezer. I do the freezer because I do more freezing. But if you do a lot of like parties and stuff, another refrigerator may work better for you. It just depends on how you use your food. So like if you have parties and stuff and you need to have a lot of sodas or something like that in there, maybe a fridge would be a better option for you. Your mother keeps posting how old she thinks you are. Uh, okay, so... You're not supposed to say all that, Jill. Pretty soon we'll have to share the uh, Cookie Man recipe. Oh, do you want to tell Facebook so, what <clears throat> happened at the... Uh, also, Christian's asked if there's any kind of discount if someone purchases a lot of paperback cookbooks. I'd like to get these for my mother, grandmother, and sisters-in-law. We do have the... Case um, price, right? I do have a case price. <clears throat> if you order by the case, which is wholesale, there's 14 books in there, and I will give you a discount about for that. There's 14 books, so just email me editor at livingonadime.com, and I can talk to you about that. Give you our wholesale price for that. Be proud of your age. Oh, it's... actually, I'm not. She's not concerned about her age. Yeah. Neither am I. <laughs> Although I did have a life crisis the other day. Age is just a number, guys. This is not where I thought I would be at this point in my life. I had hopes and dreams and aspirations. Okay, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we've had a number of people asking about where what's the store to buy your soaps. It's not actually open yet, right? Okay, so go to Etsy right now. It's still open. My Etsy store is still open right now. Mike's putting the link in there. But I am... Guys, I am frantically working to get my new store open, but it yeah. is, I have over, I think I'm going to have around 50 colorants, and it is taking me a ridiculous amount of time to test each colorant, to get pictures with my photographer, Dave, my man. No. And <laughs> Dave is tired of taking pictures of soap. He's taken probably 300 pictures of soap. And Just in um, the past week. <laughs> and then to get all the information loaded up and to find the manufacturers, it has taken me a crazy amount of time. So I didn't know it was going to take that long. So 
Go to Etsy right now. The soaps that I have left on there, these are not loaded on there because I'm just going to put them straight on the new store. So. Your mother says, as you can tell, I don't listen to my kids and she's still telling your age. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Which is okay. But my hope and dreams and aspirations was to be living on an herb farm paid off by this point in my life. By herself. Not by myself. You used to want to be a, just in a the, hermit. Just in the country where it's quiet. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's only 105 in, is that California or Canada? Whoa. Um, I was wondering about your ebooks. Can I print them and put them in a binder? Yes, you can. Yes. For your own personal use. Yes. Um, okay, so I had some other questions that we... Um, people asked if you forget about an ingredient. This is in the... I think it's you in the You can just remelt it and do it over. She said, will the chocolate lose its temper? Um, probably not. I've done it before. Yeah. Yum. Mm -mm. Um, Ellen wanted to know when you were doing the soap, where's your soap cutter? Why are you using the knife? Uh, because with melt and pour, you cannot use the soap cutter with the melt and pour. It is too um, stiff to cut with the soap cutter, so you have to cut it with a knife. Okay. P plus says baking chocolate chip cookies are amazing. Bacon? I don't know how those would go together. Right wow, Francesca says we've changed her life. That's so nice. Okay, Ellie. Well, she's Ellie, talking about wait, your mom. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jill. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I saved it, though, for you, Nan, in case Here. you didn't see okay, it. Okay, Ellie, come, come take a sniff, and you have to tell them what you thought about it. What do you think? Tell them what you said yesterday. It smells like a dream sickle. Like a dream sickle? Yes, it's very, it's very good. I approve. It's Ellie approved. What's this one smell like? Tutti fruity. That does smell like a dream sickle. It smells really good. Oh, this smells really good too, but this one really gets it for me because of all the cool looking <laughs> nubbies in there. That is really, really cool. And actually, almost all of these colors will be on my new soap store. Woohoo! Um, Jackie is asking about the what happened to the Blueberry Ranch house property. Um, so the they were wanting two hundred thousand the house was worth about three hundred thousand dollars. The house and land was worth about three hundred thousand dollars. So they were asking $200,000 for a blueberry farm that did not bring in the income to justify that. So 200,000 more than the than property the house price. Yeah. yeah. It didn't even come close. So they were way they almost it was almost double, like 35, 40% more than what it was <clears throat> actual valued at. So So, so Carrie's Corner yeah. asks what happens when you buy an ebook and you forget your code. So if you buy an ebook and you uh, you didn't get it downloaded or you got locked out or you just can't find the email you can email us and we will look it up for you as long as it's within the last year or so year or two our system only goes about a year so if you did it like four years ago there's nothing we can do about it but so we can re so if they're within the last year or two we can uh look up the order and reset it and send it back to you and we're pretty happy to do that Jennifer, so. it is not a hard process to learn how to make soap. Mike will go put my how to make soap um, YouTube channel on and my how to make soap for beginners e-course, which is on sale, right? Yes. Oh, shoot. I should have been announcing that to my you soap people. You said 50% off. I did. So if you didn't mean it, then they um, should run over there fast. <laughs> 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 okay, let me put the e-course on. Uh, so the, I'm, I'm just sharing the e-course link. It doesn't say it's for sale, but if you go to it, is it that why everything's like sale. ten or bucks, like ten dollar purchases or whatever? What? They're like ten and fifteen dollar purchases. Is that what? Yeah, that's a really stinking good deal. Well, no, the price. Let's say, see, the e-course would be the e-course is fifteen dollars. Fifteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like all these other e-books, that's and like stuff, half the price. Bye, brother. Like, they buy like two e-books, and it's. Ten dollars or something. Yeah, <gasps> it's not a hard process to learn. Cherie says it was 112 last week in Oklahoma. Cold front now only 101. Oh, that's and why we don't. That leave. is why we aren't moving to Oklahoma. Yeah. Or Kansas. Yeah. Uh. Or Iowa. <gasps> Rosemary right says I, I make impossible pies and free slices for a quick meal. So good. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that would be good. Um. Uh oh, your brother is hassling everybody. <laughs> Angela says my mom is 47 and my dad is 46. Oh wow! Well then, call us Uncle Mike and Auntie, Auntie DJ. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. Maureen says, want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Linda says, what do you think about a garden? Is it worth it? <laughs> oh, it depends man. on what your reason is for having That's one. That's a whole show in itself. Okay. I... This is Nancy's just asking you if we could hold up the dream sickle soap again. There you go. You guys, if you want to buy the dream sickle, email me, editor or Tutti Fruity, editor at livingonadime.com, and I can just PayPal it because I'm not going to list it on the old store until um, I get the new one. Um, um, okay, so if you like to garden, then I would say it's worth having a garden. But if you're doing it strictly to save money and you're not a particular fan of gardening and you've never done it before, I would not just put in a huge garden. It is not worth your time and energy. It's a waste of money. And don't leave any comments, people, yeah, saying how it saves you so much money. So, <laughs> here's the thing. If it's something you enjoy doing and you want to learn how to do it, just start small with a few plants for the first year or two. And then if you really enjoy it, then do a big garden. And it is sometimes worth to freeze or can if you want to do that. So, um, yes. Music Mad says... My book is uh, is now sporting the latest design in food splatters. It's an awesome book. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, hey, I forgot to share the link. Uh, let's see, for the sale. I'm going to share the, the Christmas in July sale link here because everything is on sale. So if there's anything you've been wanting. This so is Jack is loving BBS. He's loving, loving, loving it. So, guys, we're wondering... <laughs> He loves the worship. He loves to sing it loud, and he doesn't care about the kids who are like... <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. He's like, Mom, I was the one singing the loudest. <laughs> um, you already answered this one, right? Yes. Um, Nancy, why is my brother wanting to sell his house already? It's just not a good house for him. It was a mistake. We all make those mistakes. We made huge mistakes on two houses, and... So, yeah. Brain, Sometimes brain. you just got to lose money, move on. Sorry. There Ooh, a lot of there's moisture. moisture falling out of the air. Moisture coming uh, out of the atmosphere for once. Ah. Uh, Can wow, you hear it? I hear it. I hope yeah, it stays for more than a couple minutes. Light. So Cheeky Saver said oh. the soap e-course is totally worth it. You'll save yourself a fortune in mistakes. Yeah. Well, especially now because it's... Yeah. Okay, well, this is normal because it's rained and thundered. Mm -hmm. Like 30 different times, 30 days in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay, not literally 30, but. No, we haven't had this much. Wait, for Jack, come here. Jack, come here. There's a super <laughs> special song we have to sing today. Because somebody's birthday is this week. <gasps> and it it's Give Mom All the Kisses She Wants Week. And I was going to say, the birthday happens to fall on Give Mom All the Kisses She Wants Day. <gasps> so if I can figure out how to use this lighter. <laughs> This, one's, this yeah. one's different. Don't light the computer on fire. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, ready, guys? Come here. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy Happy birthday, birthday to you. dear best mom. Best mom. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks! thanks. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Oh, best <gasps> mother ever. Wow, that, Dave, do you agree? That is a big vote sure. of support. Come give, come give mom all the kisses she wants now. Not yet. It's not the day Just yet. one hug. No. <laughs> Gotta try. So do you guys I, know? I in oh, your here's a trivia question. Does anybody know what happened on my birthday 19 years ago? Uh, 19 years ago. That would have been about when BJ was. Does anybody know what happened on my birthday 19 years ago? <gasps> oh, wait a minute. Is that, do I tell it? Do I guess? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you think anybody got it? Let's see if anybody got it. Happy birthday, Thank Tara. You, Happy guys. birthday. I'm singing along. Oh, and somebody said, I have to tell you the one. That I thought was the best birthday wish that I saw so far. Um, Kathy said, happy birthday week, beautiful Tara. Oh, thank you. I thought that was, I mean, everybody's comments are great, but I really love that one. Um, Diana book, says, nope. Sweden? Nope. That's a good question, Darlene. You nope. had a baby? No. Nope. But that was between. Ah, oh, Amy right? T got, man, Amy, you're just, you're just 
killing it wow. this week. Though on July 29th, 1999, Mike I... gave me notjustbeans.com, our first website for my birthday. I gave her the domain name, yeah. And she was and so tickled. For, yeah, you set up the Oh, website. I set it up to yeah. actually do yeah. something too. That's yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> you set it up to do something. <laughs> yeah, so wouldn't that be cool if I could get the other website done by Sunday and then have my next new website up on my birthday too? That would be so cool. So a lot of people guessing a lot of things that I have to say. Uh, we actually met in 1994 and got married in 94. So that was 99, and uh, they were talking about having babies, and we actually had had two by that point. Yep. And Ellie what? was like six months old, and BJ was yeah. a little, like, yep. he's 14 months older, so. Yep. Uh, yeah, so so good guesses, all those. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, I see Jamie's on here. Hey, guys, if you could keep Jamie in your prayers, her son went in for a tonsillectomy today, and they found... Did she say what to say? Some, say not, well, I think she, yeah. I wasn't sure how much detail, okay. Um, they found something that they weren't real sure was a good thing, and so they couldn't finish the tonsillectomy. So if you could keep her son in your prayers, he has to wait three weeks before he can get another MRI and see what's going on, so. And he's a really awesome guy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Danielle, in the UK, says, would you love to come to the UK where we were going through a heat wave for the last two months? So I'm curious, Danielle, what is a heat wave in the UK? Because I know it's it's usually pretty cool, right? And I'd just be curious how warm the heat wave... I should look. I should have just looked online. Because we a heat wave. we're not too fond of heat waves these days, but I think we might be okay with yours. <laughs> Although it'd probably be better to be down under with Amy's weather. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I used to... I grew up in Texas... And I have to say, I'm realizing there are days in the summer where I think I absolutely have to turn on the air conditioner. But I realize in the winter, it's not very common that I think I absolutely have to turn on the heater. <laughs> so I think that must mean I've gotten to be liking. So I have one more thing I want to talk about before we go. Oh, Stephanie's grandson turned eight yesterday. Oh, Aww, happy birthday. Tell him happy birthday. Um, so I was just wondering, how yes. many beds can you go through in two months? When you're not jumping on them. <laughs> when you're not jumping on them. Just wondering, has anyone had bed issues where um, where you, you know, you buy a bed and you just really hate it? Like, really hate it? I don't know what to do, guys. So we bought a bed, and it was defective, so we sent it back, got a new one, and we really hate the new one. But we have a 90 day, we can trade it in warranty or whatever. So do we go ahead and take it back to the store? It's already been like five weeks. I think we're going to. Well, we went to the soap conference in Atlanta. <clears throat> and at that time, Tara was saying our other bed was a, a year or two old, right? A year? Two years old and it was sunk in like this. And Tara was checking on the warranty on that. And we went to the soap conference and we stayed in, I forgot what hotel that was. Hilton. But we were laying in the beds thinking there were actually two beds, so we each took our own. <laughs> but um, both of us were like, oh, I slept great. How did you sleep? I slept great too. So after, was it three or four nights we stayed there? Every night we slept yeah. great. And we were thinking, we need a bed like this. And it was a lot more firm than the one we had. So we came sort of home. I turned in the warranty for the old bed. They gave us a new one because it was messed up and it shouldn't have been sunk in. Um, and now we got the new one and we hate it. 93 is what they said in the UK. Well, 93, that, that 93 is, is pretty warm. That's yeah. pretty hot. And I'm sure over there that's especially hot. Jennifer, my But we brother, love your normal weather. <laughs> my brother bought a bed and it was so hard it hurt to sleep on it. Trade it in. I'm thinking we should trade it in. Well, it's funny because I saw this ad the other day for a uh, return it foam toppy thing, and I said, oh, "Well, maybe we could try something like take that just back. for tonight." And Tara's like, "I hate to spend more money when we've already spent money." And I said, "Well, let's just take it back because <laughs> I know they'll take it back." So it's just the hassle of having to load it into the pickup again. It can't have any dirt, no nothing. So if we get it dirty going <gasps> over there, it just makes me mad. So. Lisa says, happy birthday to our granddaughter is being born right now. Oh, July 25th wow. is a great day. Yes, Lisa. Wow. Congratulations. 
Uh, yes, Amy, we did pull the sheets, and but we can't find that same bed. Did it say, it said Sealy? I think it was Sealy, Beauty Rest, but, it, but they didn't have the same one. The place, though, the one that we took back had a warranty and they let us have any other bed in the store. And so we ended up with the one we have, but they didn't have the same brand at this store. So they did tell us with this one, we have 90 days to try it out. And if we don't like it, we can trade it. And All it's right. only been about five weeks and we're ready. Everybody's telling us to take it back. Okay. It's like sleeping on a board. Well, and I forgot who said down there about um, you have Ooh. to test the beds first. And we did Wait, test we it. We did. And actually her oh, cousin we... works at the store. Wait, um, what? Wait, what's the situation here? Why are you guys removing it? Because it's too hard. It's a brick. Can I have it? But he told us. He did tell us, you know, these are going to be stiffer when you get them than they are in the store. But we walked on them. But he said, walk, kind of walk around on it. Don't jump on it. Just kind of walk around on it and, it's, and it, it should soften up. Well, it's been five weeks and we keep doing that and neither one of us is sleeping very well. And but. I, I don't know. I'm about ready to go on the couch and my back hurt. I'm in pain every morning I wake up. I'll take it's it. It's horrible. Amy said she was walking on the beach while she was watching us. Oh, oh, I would so love to do that. I just wanted to take a vacation this summer, and I could find no place where we could go for even a week. I Maybe what we should do is have a viewer find a place for us to go for a week. And then that's not like ridiculously expensive. But Amy too, in my we'll give them one of all of our ebooks and books for finding us a place to go on vacation for a week. Ooh, that'd be nice. Because I am sick of looking and looking and looking. And school starts in just over two weeks. Well, yeah, the funny thing two and is, half weeks. If it's too bad Jack is still in regular school because with David homeschooling, if Jack was homeschooling too, it would be fine. We could but... just go, which would be great. Because one thing we love about going to Branson in October is the colors are. So, Silver Dollar City, if you guys haven't, aren't familiar with it, it's an amusement park that's kind of got an old west. Um, sort of yeah. Walton's kind yeah. of feeling to it and that part's really cool and then it's got the amusement park too but in the fall the colors are all changing and it's really beautiful and the majority of the people <laughs> in Branson at that time are like retirees and so it's a perfect time for us to go there because it's really comfortable it looks beautiful and the kids don't have to wait in line on any of the rides because mm -hmm. most of the people that are there are walking around enjoying just the feel of the place and not riding the rides. Mm -hmm. So it's just spectacular to go then. Um, and we like going in October because there's not a lot of competition, you know, to compete with other people to be there. But we were looking this summer for places to stay and we were thinking, wow, you really have to plan ahead on a lot of these places because we would check and things are booked already Yeah. here. But... Simmons Beauty Rush, she said, is oh. what Hilton has. Oh, maybe we looked at it. Maybe we remembered it wrong. Hmm. See, that's what I thought. Kathy says Hilton has their own specifications. I that's I don't think you can just buy the mattress in the store. Oh, they were so nice. Like mm -hmm. it was that was a great. I mean, we were. It's funny we were slightly in shock when we got to the hotel. Yeah. But when we got there, um, man, it was nice. So, so I don't know. I am. Um, Christian says you're so lucky our kids don't come back to school till the last week of August. I just, I really want a break, and to, we were gonna try and go on a vacation, but we just can't <sighs> find any place that will let that has a place open for a week for us. I did. There so, are three places I think we should go see in the springs, and that could be like a weekend trip. So. Uh, Wait, if we go to the springs, could we, is there like, is it past the mountains to where we could go inside that giant tunnel or no? We could. Well, one of the things yeah. I thought would be fun is to take you guys to the, there's an old, there's an old time railroad from Georgetown, Colorado. Is it abandoned? No. Oh, but the railroad, you could, we could take a ride on the Wait. train and then it goes to a gold mine and stuff. Oh. Cool. Lynn says take Jack out of school at the end of the world if he misses a couple days. It's not if it's a couple days. But, but we were going to go to Branson and we only get 10 days. Yeah, 10 days in the year before it becomes a problem. Before we start fighting with the school. No, we have not gone to the Creation Museum and we want to go there. We really want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Amy says contact the hotel. Maybe you can order one somehow. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Well, that's a good idea. It would be worth it. 
So Dave, you want to tell them the news you got today? Oh, I already told YouTube this, but I have eight cavities. Woo! Come over Just here. Um, it's because of lack of flossing. Say it, say, say it again in case you missed it. Eight cavities. Eight cavities! But only in my, between my teeth where, you know, flossing isn't helping at all. So I need okay. to open so every come day. Here. Wait a minute, come here. Just a second, hold on. What? This is Cadet Blue. No, thank you. You will find this in our new line on bestsoapmakingsupplies.com. Where did he go? He was my demonstration. <laughs> Wait, but is it like actual cavities or? Yeah, no, this is the real, well, this is the good dentist. This is the good the, dentist. Not the dingling but dentist. But they did say, well, why don't you have him come in and we'll spend about an hour and a half and we'll work, we'll start on the four that are the worst looking. Because none of them are really, really bad, but they're all bad enough that they're getting into the part of the tooth where they need to be filled. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's four of the eight are borderline. So she said what we might do is fix those that are obviously really bad in the border, and then look at the borderline ones and maybe not do anything. They tend to be very conservative there because we've gone to other places where they say, oh, you have eight cavities. And then we go to this dentist and they say, uh, you really have one that needs to be worked on and then some others, you know, you might want to floss more and we'll take a closer look at them as time goes by. So they're pretty, they're pretty conservative about doing that. Uh, yes, wait, scroll down. Yeah, Darlene, you can order both. Wait, wait. She asks if she can order ebooks and soap on the same order. Oh, not soap. I'm sorry. But if you... Because the soap is. From... If you send me a message, I can. Well, let's see. No, there'd still be shipping because I can't send it media mail. So it'd probably be like two dollars shipping though. No, Nan, we don't get glasses at Xenia.com. That's where you get flowers. <laughs> it's Zenny, Z Z E N N I dot com is where no, we get glasses. No, it's not. Z E N N I optical dot com. <laughs> Uh, Julie says Airbnb. We actually looked at some Airbnbs. I can't find anything that has anything open for a, for a week, and I want someplace cool. I'm sick of dealing with the heat, or something by a lake or something. <sighs> Heather says deals for cruises are in October, and they're awesome. Jan has a beauty rest, and they love it. Oh, somebody says Lake Tahoe. I've heard it's really nice there. I didn't think about Lake Tahoe. Laura says stay anywhere you like. Just stay outside the main cities. Use discounts if you can. No, that's the problem. I can't find anything. We really don't want to be in the main cities, so we do look yeah. further out. Yeah, everybody, the economy is doing so great that I, everybody is on vacation. And it's like every single person has taken a vacation this year because there is nothing left open. I think it's because the economy is doing so good. Nancy says, how about Hannibal, Missouri in mid-August? <laughs> yeah, right. I see that little... That's the Doug and Stacy uh, get-together. Oh, really? Woo. Yeah. No, they asked if I wanted to go and be a vendor, and I'm like, <gasps> no, I'm sorry, not Missouri in August. I can't do it. So Rhonda must be from Colorado. She says, go hang out at Horse Tooth, rent a boat, great fun. Well, actually, I was thinking about doing something like that, just going around Colorado and doing stuff. Yeah, well, the nice thing about that is we do get, the schools have an incredible amount of uh, random days off and multiple day weekends. And so we could get three, three or four day weekends fairly easily throughout the fall for Jack. And then we could take an extra day if we needed to. But horse to, for those of you who don't know, in Fort Collins, Colorado, there's uh, a big reservoir lake. Um, and there's a mountain that has a looks like a horse tooth up or there. Or we could go to Estes and do that too, or something. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I guess if we stayed home and just took a week off work, which we really don't need to do, but we're tired. And I was just wondering if it would refresh us to to forge on. I don't know, guys. That's the other thing. We're really pushing at getting this book done by September 1st. I don't know. Are we gonna have dining on a dime? 20th well, anniversary done by September 1st. Actually, I have to say, I've been making great progress when I'm actually getting it done. So, I would say it looks like there's, as far as I know, nothing tomorrow. Okay, so tell them what you worked on us. right now, this week. The, the images? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, I was working on uh, preparing the pictures of recipe cards from the original recipes Wait. for that. So, Tara and her mom and grandmother and great-grandmother... Well, actually, other great grandmothers too. Uh, they all had recipe cards for the various recipes, and so we, <clears throat> Dave, 
photographed a bunch of them and I've been oh. prepping them for the book. So there's that and also I was getting ready to put in the new recipes. Mm -hmm. And then Tara wrote the first draft of the kind of story. We were, we're trying to figure out which direction to go with the story of kind of... I think we need to just do it year by year. Well, we were wondering, is, is it more yeah. about the book or is it more about what we were doing in our well, family? it's kind of a time. combination. So, yeah. what, Dave? So, knowing that I have eight cavities, like two in each quadrant of my mouth. Yeah. Wouldn't that mean they would have to shot, like, every single part of my mouth in order to get it all to be numb at the same time? Uh... But remember, you do great at the dentist. You're yeah. my one when you were two years old and you had a broken tooth. You didn't even flinch when you got a shot. But it's slightly painful. Uh, it's annoying. So, <laughs> Paula says, stop eating sugar, young man. And oh, I don't think it's so I'm much not, sugar, but he does eat a lot of chips and things like that. Uh, but what they did say was it was mostly with him. Probably he just needs to floss because they said he was obviously brushing fine because the, the part that's affected by brushing Here. looks great. Come try a truffle on air so they can see your reaction on yes. how wonderfully delicious they are. Um, Amy, do they have fluoride in the water? Could be a genetic thing. Well, I do think that it's potentially genetic with Dave because Tara's Cooper family has a lot yeah. of. Okay, Ellie's testing the truffle. Tell them your opinion. Of the melt in your mouth goodness. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Very delicious. Mm. Mm. See, now it really hits you, doesn't it? After it started melting and oozing all over your tongue. And all the flavor melds into your mouth. Mm. Oh, David. Oh, right. no. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty good. What do you tell our viewers? I, excuse me, peoples. Uh, what? The internet. Sorry, oh, what? Wow. Hey, Rhonda says I raised my kids on Horse Tooth Reservoir, Colorado, born and raised. Yay. There you um, go. So, oh, as far as the fluoride in the water, there. I don't know if there's fluoride here. Yes, there is. When there wasn't any fluoride in Wichita, right? No, there was. Was there? Because uh, oh. Dave was born in Wichita. Oh. Um, but Tara's family, some parts of her family, a lot of people seem to have dental problems in any case. So I think with Dave, it's probably a combination of some of it's genetics and some of it is flossing more would probably help a lot. I had no problems for years and years. I didn't get my second, I got my first cavity when I was like 10. But I didn't get my second one until I was 35 or something. And then I got like three at the same time. Yeah. And up till then I had kind of ignored the flossing advice. But I've been doing that since then, and pretty much I almost never have cavities. So today we went in together, and they said, "Oh, he's got, he's got four cavities. Oh, maybe we should scan the other teeth just to make sure." And they, and they said, "Oh, wow, it looks like eight actually, but hopefully we could maybe just get away with treating four of them for now." Um, and then I said, "Okay, what about me?" And they're like, "You're good. <laughs> have a nice day." <laughs> I'm like, "Yay, I'm glad." But. Um, I looked at Cabins on the Lake, um, Margaret, and they, um, there's none available. There's none available. So, um, in northern Minnesota, she said. Yeah, I looked in Minnesota, I looked in Michigan, and I looked in Wisconsin, and I didn't find anything. Wait, can I, can I get the so, sleeping gas? I mean, the laughing gas or whatever? Maybe. Oh, well, oh wow. I don't know. We're paying cash. We'll see. <laughs> I might just have to give you a... Oh, shot. Man. Um, the 20th anniversary edition is going to be close to 700 pages instead of close to 500 pages. We're going to have, um, I think 27 new recipes, I think is what I just pulled. Um, we're going to have the story of how we wrote it and kind of things that happened in our lives during the time of the book and things that happened. We're going to have all the recipe, the original recipe cards from my mom, from my grandma, my other grandma, my great grandma, my other great grandma, and me in there. And the price is probably going to be $24.95 since it's going to be almost 200 more pages. Unfortunately, the price is going to go up. So, so. Um, can you pre-order it? Not yet. As soon as we get it to the printer, we will start pre-orders. At that point, once we get it at to the printer, point, it's like five yeah. or six weeks before the books come. But so, at that point, we will know they're coming it's for eight sure. Weeks. Is it eight, eight weeks? weeks? Um, 
Yeah, that's why we have to have it September 1st if we want to sell it for Christmas. So do you, do you think if I floss like 20 times a day, oh sorry, this is totally different. Floss like 20 times a day, go away? No. Oh uh, man. But maybe once or twice. Julie says, I've never been to Colorado. Take us along to places around you. That would be nice. I think what we need to do is just turn off the computers. Yeah. Huh? And Especially take a break. you. I, I, I think you have trouble staying off. Oh, Jan says we should visit Big Family. Well, do we tell them what I started last night? Never enough, never, <laughs> never, never enough. Oh, for right. me, for me, for me. <gasps> Denise says she could meet us in Lake Tahoe, only four hours north of her. Ooh. <laughs> Is I... that chocolate, Denise? What, where? Is that the niece that's always talking about yes, getting yes. chocolate? Oh, okay. Um, I when somebody know. and Darlene was talking about the Ark Encounter. And I'd really like to go there, just not in the summer. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm starting another YouTube channel. I know. Well. I have a problem. I do have to say, I did probably encourage that some. Because she was putting the ASMR How long? stuff on, she was on the soap channel and it was confusing all the soap people as to why she's cutting. They were either really happy or very disturbed by it. Why she was cutting soap and wrapping soap and unwrapping soap and things with no talking. <laughs> like, I don't like Tara not talking. Tara needs to be talking. Now, isn't that funny? Because I get tired of hearing myself talk. <laughs> so that's why I kind of like doing the ASMR videos because I don't have to talk. So Rhonda says the book, I can't wait and well worth the price. Can't wait to pre-order. Thank ah! you. We also have a second book in the process, uh, which hopefully would, would be not too far after that book yeah. comes out. Okay, here's what we'll probably do. The week before it goes to the printer, we will have a sale. Not a sale. We'll have a pre-order, I mean. We'll have a pre-order, and... Um, so we can get a, a kind of an estimate on account of how many people want the 20th anniversary edition. So, um, the first edition that, of the 20th anniversary, the first edition of the 20th anniversary edition. <laughs> We're almost done. Oh, I was going to make this up so I wasn't sure. Um, and so see, thank you, Jen. Chaotically thank minimal. You. That's a great name. I'm a fan of your ASMR videos, but can understand why it would weird people out. Well, I never understand why people like ASMR stuff, but I'm they not do. the target audience. Fall asleep. Yeah. It, helps it helps you fall, you fall asleep. asleep. But when I want to fall asleep, I don't think about falling asleep to somebody soap cutting? unwrapping things with prickly wrappers. So my latest one on my soap channel, if you guys are interested, is I unwrapped 70 bars of soap. I thought it was cool myself. Yes, Mike does have a very good singing voice. Thanks, Lynn. All right, guys, please visit us at livingonadime.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. It helps us out a lot when you do those things. And Yay. we will be back on Monday. I'm going to be a year older by then. Are uh, you going to be able to live with an old woman? You're not going to be an old woman. Oh, you just He didn't hesitate. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Keep going. I'm trying to think of something else to say. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Um, Darlene, I'm getting your ebook for the Crock-Pot. Will it use a lot of ink to print or should I take it somewhere else to print? I don't remember how many pages was that. I think it's like 178 pages. So like MI. Depends if you don't have a laser printer, it probably would. Yeah. We take it to Home Depot or not Home Depot. <laughs> well, you can take it to Home Depot, but they'll just laugh at you. <laughs> take it to Office Depot or Staples and they can do it for probably like 10 bucks. Oh, Five lots bucks. of people are super excited about the new book. So, yay. Yay! All then right. we can pay for David's teeth. <laughs> Wait, what? Then we can pay for your teeth. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I'm Amy, so sorry. Amy T said you should go camping. Some of your national parks look amazing. Grand Teton looks beautiful. Grand Teton is amazingly beautiful. He does not like camping. He doesn't. Oh, what? No, ever since that big family catastrophe nope. we had, where like no, we're trying I to like, go over into the river. I like camping, but one time Dave and I went camping with a group of extended family, and our tent was leaking the whole time, and it rained constantly day after day. And after about three days, I was like, yeah, no more of that. I could go camping 
in the wilderness, fine. He needs his shower, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, gonna happen. but when we were camping out in the mountains, I would just take a bath in the stream. I would just say, wait for it to rain. I did. All right. So on that note, mm -hmm. I'm going to go watch a movie with my Bible study friends. Oh, what movie are you going to see? We're going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp. Which, and I'm, I'm the only one of them that has seen it before. Nelly so saw. I'm going to have to say, oh, watch out. Oh, oh stop it. <laughs> All right, I guys. I really liked this character, but... <laughs> Have a good night. Visit us at livingonadime.com. We will be back on Monday. <laughs> yes. Bye. And those are fake spoilers, by the way. <laughs> Bye. See you then. Oh, happy birthday, my love. Thank you. This will be our 25th birthday together.